look at him. Go look at him. And when we got to Denver, he said, oh, my God, Trace, you may be a celebrity. I said, how? He goes, you sent out my video to your list. I said, hey, man, whatever we got to do. Right? All right. So everybody has this. Right? You know what to do. Now, let's talk a little bit about, oh, this thing does not erase. Okay. Hey, whatever it takes. <laughs> oh, well, let me make sure there's nothing bad on the other side. Uh, important. So, your foundational I'm like stuff. I'm going to magic okay? show. Um, I'm going to leave it. There. <laughs> All right. So, this is the action game plan. Okay? We say you can get your work done in two hours a day. Let me tell you, you can get your work done in two hours a day. I get my work done in two hours a day. I've only been really working two hours a day since the beginning. And I will tell you, for the levels of income that people are making in Empower Network, to be working two to three hours a day from home, let me tell you something. Per hour, what are you making? A lot. Your time and your value is very, very expensive. Right? So if you want to make more money, just work less. Do you guys understand the concept? I mean, I couldn't hear everything Vic was saying, but I thought he had a calculator or something, right? So I don't have a calculator out here, but, you know, somebody do the math for me. If you want to make, let's just keep it real simple. You want to make $10,000 in a month, all right? And you are working 40 hours a week, 80 hours, 160 hours a month. Divide the 10,000 by the 160 hours, what do you get? You are worth $16.50 an hour. What is it? $62.50 an hour. Is that right? $62.50 an hour. If you work 160 hours for 10,000 a month. Now, take that same $10,000 a month, now you're only gonna work 10 hours a week, 40 hours a month and divide that. The 10,000 by the 40 hours. Work less, make more. <laughs> the numbers don't lie. <laughs> I'm just, right? They don't. Okay. So, what's the number one thing in Empower Network? What is our whole platform set up on? Blogging how often? How often? How often do you blog? Y'all are not telling the truth. Some of you guys are. Blog daily. No one said it had to be a thesis statement every time you sat down to type a blog. Some of you guys are making this way too difficult. You want to sit down and you want to write a four-page dissertation. Number one, it's a hassle on you to come up with the content. And trust me, number two, your prospect is going to click off of there so fast. It ain't going to matter anyway. A couple of points. Guys, don't give everything you got in one blog post because you got tomorrow. <laughs> you got tomorrow. Spread your stuff out. Maybe come up with a theme for the week. Right? I'm just gonna, maybe a theme for the week. Maybe the theme for the week when we get back home is my experiences in Denver, Colorado. The thing, right? And then each day, you decide, okay, Monday, I'm going to talk a little bit about this interview I had. On Tuesday, I'm going to reflect on uh, this particular person that spoke that impacted me. On Wednesday, I'm going to actually give uh, a quiz on whatever, right? On Thursday, this, on Friday, that, and you map it out. Boom. So Monday, you sit down. You were in Denver. You're writing about your experiences in Denver. 
just write about that little topic for that part on Monday. You're done. 15, 20 minutes. If you want to do a video about it, knock yourself out. Do the video, embed it into the blog. Are we, are we clear? You have to market. Why? Blogging in itself, just the words on the paper or just the video on the page is not the income producing activity. It's one step removed from the income producing activity. You guys with me? You blog, it goes on there, but if you don't tell anybody about the blog post, how can they read it, watch it, click, buy, sign up, get all in, and get to the events? They can't. So you have to market daily. And I know you say, well, how, how, how? Well, 15K actually tells us how. How many guys had that again? So that shouldn't even be a question, really. It really shouldn't. Because you can do all types of things. You can blog daily and syndicate your blogs, can't you? You can blog daily and you can send it out to your list if you have a list. If you don't have a list, then you can still blog daily, but then you have to find something in the 15K that allows you to generate leads. Maybe you're doing some Facebook campaigns. Maybe, how many of you guys are actually posting on, how many of you guys have a fan page on Facebook? I know a couple days ago we were like, screw Facebook. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, but no. <laughs> yeah, but no. My conscience was saying, no. My subconscious was saying, yeah. Because I make a lot of money on Facebook. Right? A lot of me on Facebook, but there's a strategy to Facebook. If you go on Facebook and you post, you should join my team because of this, and if you don't, we punch wizards in the face. <laughs> Only we understand that language. That's, that's our little secret, right? The people out there have no idea what the hell you're even talking about and why, in three simple steps. Right? You guys get what I'm saying. I'm not talking bad if that's the situation. I'm just saying, don't worry about your story at this moment in time. Leverage another story that's actually successful, like the Dave and Dave lead capture pages, or your team leader, or whatever you got going on. Does that make sense? So, are we clear on blogging daily? Do we have an idea of how to market? And if you don't know how, haven't I given you a resource to go figure it out? Okay. The last thing that you are going to do is you're going to email your what? Look, if you got three people on that list, email them. Because one of those three could be the next Vic. How do you know? You're complaining about I only got three people. For all you know, that one person could be a superstar. And because you're being whiny and not being grateful, you're missing out on your opportunity. The way you do anything is how you do everything. If you don't treat the three people good, why should God bless you with 300 or 3,000 or 30,000? You're going to treat them the same. You're not going to be grateful either way. So you email that list. One time, earlier in the day. Then, you're going to email your list a second time in the day. Choose whatever times you want to choose. Yeah, are there better times? Yeah, are there worse times? Yeah. Guess what? Just email your list for now. You'll figure out what's going to be best for your list because they will show you by either opening or not, by responding or not, by clicking and joining, watching the video or not, right? You're going to have a specific data 
that you can, or you're going to have some specific data that you're going to procure from your own marketing efforts. Do you guys understand that? It doesn't really matter about everybody else's because you have an idea that might be better at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. Yeah, but just email the, the habit of emailing the list is what I'm after. That's what I'm after. One in the morning, one in the evening. And guess how long blogging takes? 15 minutes. Especially if you map it out like I just said. I didn't write, out, write down the map, but you know what I said, right? I said, you pick a theme for the week. Pick what you're going to do for those days and create your content. How long does it take to import that into Facebook and click boost post and pay $5? I'm going to give you two minutes. <laughs> two minutes, just in case. Might need you got your password, you gotta log in. <laughs> now, these two things right here, I like to come from my heart. This one too, but you can talk about pop culture here, you can talk about Kim Kardashian mama here, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about in your blog post, right? You can talk about election stuff, you can talk about legal stuff, you can you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Right? Maybe you want to do a video, want to import Tony Robbins video or something there, some more personal development. That can be an array of things. You guys with me? But here, who's on the other side of this? Your list. This may just be seeking other people. This, these are the people that said, yes, I want to know more. Don't they have a higher value than these people? Treat them as such. Speak from your heart here. Is it okay to use swipe? Absolutely. What swipe? Swipe is when somebody else writes an email, you like it, you copy, and you paste. In school, they call it cheating. In business, we call it masterminding. They taught us all wrong. They taught us all wrong. You guys understand that? We're all screwed up. And we're trying to rework the wires in three days. Okay, we got work to do, but just understand we all started off wrong. Okay, some of y'all scared to cheat. But it's okay to cheat. It's okay to mastermind. <laughs> so, this is going to be from the heart. And I'm going to give you a little formula real quick, and I'm going to wrap it up. Mail number one. Don't sell anything here. It's not trying to sell so much. Talk about something. Give people something. Give something. Here's what I learned today or learned this week or learned that may add value to you. I spoke with a guy named Oli who happens to be in our company, he's blind, and he has done videos and pictures, he's marketing, he gets to events, and I thought about how inspiring that was to me.